I'm over from the Amex Stadium, and here's the good news. The rain has stayed away. It's a clear night in this part of England. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Shane Duffy plays alongside Lewis Dunk in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. In with a chance! And turned onto the woodwork. And he read it well. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Can he put them in front? Able to get his body in the way. A fine reading of the situation. Sterling. Oh, in with a chance! Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Well read to ease the pressure. Fine teamwork to win it back. De Bruyne. Might jump in front. And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Neil Mopé, excellent challenge. Sterling. City moving the ball forwards, what can they do from here? And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in.
Silva. Grealish. It's got to be! And the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, they fancy a short one. And that is how to block. Sterling. Making sure it didn't get past him. Poor touch. And they no longer have custody of the ball. Grealish. Constantly thwarted. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Adam Webster. Lalana. Trossard. And they need to get tighter here. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Sterling and breaking at pace with Menace. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And there is the goal that gives them a well merited lead. It had been coming. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter attack is so impressive, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? again with the score line standing at 1-0 well inching towards half time and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this Stuart your thoughts well I've been a little disappointed with their attack in play it's all been a bit too slow if they can pass it into their front areas with more quality switch play quicker and be more positive in 1v1 situations I think they'll get back into this Totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Jack Grealish. The ball with Rodri. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, in a word for Raheem Sterling so far, positive. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Nicely timed tackle. De Bruyne. City finding space on the flank. De Bruyne at the ready. Well, it might still work out for them. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Cucurella. Mopé. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Good-looking sequence. Trossard. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area.
Well, sloppy in possession. Trossard. Said he did well to win it back. Grealish. Well, possibilities in the centre. Plays it back. The save was a good one. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number nine, Gabriel Jesus, to be replaced by number 26, Riyad Mahrez. Now sending it in. Cleared away. Fine piece of tidying up by Adam Lalana. Lalana. Tossar. Moving forward effectively. Now putting it wide from there. Disappointing. And the substitution will occur now. Well, there you have it. Just not enough going forward from them today. They've lacked tempo, they've lacked a sense of urgency, and above all, a bit of quality. It's been very disappointing. Jack Grealish. And a chance for him on the flank. De Bruyne. And the keeper caught there. A change in the offing for City. Number 20, Bernardo Silva. Coming onto the pitch. Number 8, Short corner it is. Rodri. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top class save. Just look how he reacts. Well, the. And just failing to bend the run enough. And the flag has been raised. And they will make the change now. Mares. It is advantage Manchester City here. Brilliantly blocked. And a goal! A significant deflection. And no wonder the goalkeeper is looking up at the sky in disbelief. Well, as you can see, he gets a bit lucky here. The deflection just had the keeper wrong-footed, but he won't worry about that. Take it away. Gundogan. De Bruyne. And he's in. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Here we see it again. It all started with that superb one-two. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. This is going to be a thrashing. 3 nil now. Joel Feldman. Neil Mopé. Tremendous interception it was by Gundogan. Jack Grealish. It's with Laporte. Rodri. 
Here's Grealish. And they need to get tighter here. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne, to be replaced by number 25, Fernandinho. Pascal Gross. Grealish. And there goes the final whistle. I'll tell you what, not the outcome fans of Brighton and Hove Albion had in mind this. A defeat. What did you make of it? It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Might jump in front. And it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. It's got to be. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead. It had been coming. Moving forward effectively. Now putting it wide from there, disappointing. And the keeper got there. It is advantage Manchester City here. Brilliantly blocked. And a goal! A significant deflection. And no wonder the goalkeeper is looking up at the... De Bruyne, and he's in, and he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What? And they need to get tighter here. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot.